So in this problem, we're told to evaluate the indefinite integral. Remember to use absolute values when appropriate and use c for the constant of integration, given the integral of dx over 1 minus 2x. So since we're using u substitution, the first thing we have to decide is what is going to be u. So in this case, they don't really give us much, uh, much of an option, so it's just going to be 1 minus 2x because there's really nothing else. So if u is 1 minus 2x, we got to find the derivative of u first. So uh, the derivative of 1 minus 2x, well, the derivative of 1 is 0, right? Because it's a constant. The derivative of minus 2x is just minus 2. So the derivative is just going to be minus 2, and then we multiply by dx, right? So du equals minus 2 times dx. And then what we want to do is solve for dx. So if we divide both sides by minus 2, we get dx equals du over minus 2. So now what we want to do is just rewrite it. So I'm going to move the dx over right here. So I'm just going to make it 1 over. And then dx is right here, basically. And then what we want to do is replace 1 minus 2x with u, right? So now that we have it like this, well, we have 1 over u. And then we replace dx with what we solved dx to be. So du over minus 2. So what we can do here is just move the minus 2 up front, right? So we can rewrite this as minus 1 half, right? Because minus 2 is the same thing as minus 1 half. It's on the bottom. Then we're multiplying it by 1 over u, du. So I left these separate on purpose, and I'll show you why. So now what we got to do is take um, the antiderivative of our inside, right? So if we go ahead and do that, uh, what you'll notice, well, what you should know is that the derivative of the ln of u is 1 over u, right? So the inverse is true, basically, right? So the antiderivative of 1 over u is the ln of u. But when you take the antiderivative of 1 over u, it's actually the ln of the absolute value of u. So keep that in mind. So we take the antiderivative of ln of u, it's, or 1 over u, it's ln of the absolute value of u. And then we're multiplying by minus 1 half, right? Because that's our constant out front. And then whenever you take uh, antiderivative, you got to add plus c. So this is what we have. And then all we got to do is just replace u with what we found it to be. So we're going to have minus 1 half times the ln of the absolute value of u, which is 1 minus 2x. And then all we got to do is add plus c. And so this right here is going to be our final answer.